Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Washington Senators and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Senators is Jeffrey Volweiler, whose record is 5-8 and eight with a 3.61 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is Dave Boswell whose record is 5-6 and six with a 3.85 ERA. Okay, we have absolutely crushed the Senators the first two games of the series, putting up 11 runs in both games. My strategy seems to be working. We even let Gelnar uh, go a fifth inning uh, to get his uh, win uh, in yesterday's ball game because we had such a sizable lead at the time, uh, and that seemed to pay off well. So we have that little bit of a sliding scale, you know, four innings if it's close for a starter, five innings uh, if we have a almost an insurmountable lead like we did yesterday. Now we do have Dave Boswell on the mound today. He's making his second start. Uh, he is the one pitcher uh, that is immune to that strategy. Uh, he is actually a very good quality pitcher, and I'd like to think that he's capable of pitching a complete game in any of his starts. And we'll see how that goes against uh, the uh, Senators today. Um, after today's ball game, we have a day off, so we'll advance a day. And that will get us a little bit closer uh, to the end of the month where the trade deadline uh, takes place. So we did have a trade yesterday uh, between the Royals and the Giants. It was kind of a, a small deal, uh, nothing to be uh, you know, excited about, but I think we'll see maybe one or two more trades by the game, uh, you know, inner uh, AI uh, working back and forth. Uh, I don't think we'll make any more trades unless we can uh, maybe pawn uh, Brabender off on somebody. I, I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll play that by ear. I kind of feel like we, ha we are who we are here. And then once we get um, to the month of September, I think we, at the very least, we'll call up uh, Dick Ruthven or Dennis Leonard to get a couple of starts uh, under their belt to see what they have to offer us for the future. They will very likely be in the rotation for the 1971 season. Okay, let's go ahead and get today's game started as always. I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button for me. I appreciate that. Uh, give a welcome back to... Uh, Freddie C, who's been gone for like almost two months. He's way back in game 47 or 48. Uh, so we've, he's got a ways to go to get caught up, but I'm just saying here when he gets to this point, thanks for coming back. Uh, Ramon Hernandez will not be available uh, today. He pitched two innings, gave up the third run in yesterday's ballgame. So we have uh, only three, well, not only three, we have three left-handers, and that's probably all we really need. Dave Boswell's had some good success against the Senators, as you might expect. They're batting 177 against him, 130 plate appearances. Let's take a look at the lineup. Uh, Jeffrey Volweiler is a right-hander, so we have our lineup in there versus righties. It's the same as yesterday. Um, I mean, Tommy Agee's on fire. He's 7 for his last 9, uh, so he'll... Um, be right there in the number five spot today. This is basically our best uh, defensive lineup. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Washington Senators. It appears to be the same as the first two games. Batting leadoff. Playing third base is Toby Hera. Batting second in center field is Dell Unser. Batting third in left field is Frank Howard. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Mike Epstein. Batting fifth and catching is Jim French. Batting sixth and right field is Sam Bowens. Batting seventh at second base is Bernie Allen. Batting eighth at shortstop is Ed Brinkman. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Jeffrey Volweiler. Okay, here's Dave Boswell. He is making his second start. You can see his first start did not go so well. He went six innings, giving up five runs and nine hits. Uh, he only walked one and struck out six. That was incredible. Uh, but they beat him around pretty good. 
Uh, who was that against? Minnesota? No. The White Sox, that's right. As you can see there, he threw 105 pitches and took the loss. Uh, he has pitched well uh, this year, though, for Minnesota with that 5-5 five and five record at a 3.65 ERA. Great walk-to-strikeout ratio. And they were batting uh, 214 against him at that point. Uh, his fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 54.8%. The slow curve is his out pitch rated a 92. A fastball rated an 84. And a changeup, this is okay too. Overall rated an 87. The 25-year-old righty just signed a contract extension once he was traded to our team. So he is a pilot into the 1974 season. Okay, we'll take a look at our defense. It's very good. Everywhere you look, pretty solid. we got Pepitone out there in right, uh, slightly below league average, but otherwise looking pretty solid. Okay, well, if things go as they normally would go after we've scored 22 runs in two games, I would think that Dave Boswell's in for a, a beatdown, but we'll, we'll see here. We've got Toby Hara leading it off versus Dave Boswell, and he walks him. So when he walks a batter after only walking one batter uh, in the last game, not a good sign. Runner on first. Here's Del Unser. Unser strikes out. The old walk strikeout combo. This feels like a two run home run guaranteed 100%. Oh, ground ball up the middle. Snagged by. Kelly, who's really great at starting double plays, could not make that happen. Uh, okay. Man, I wish he would pitch around Epstein. I don't want to call for a walk. But French is such a worse hit, much worse hitter, even though they're both lefties. I think we will intentionally walk Mike Epstein. Will that come back to haunt us? I, I, I'm... I know it's going to be considered an intentional walk, but if I had my way, I would say we're going to pitch around Epstein to get to the 235 hitting Jim French. We'll see if that's a mistake. A 1-2 count to French, and a ground ball that gets past Rodriguez. There was nothing we were ever going to be able to do to prevent that from happening. It's 1-0 Washington. And Sam Bowens with a 2-1 count. Hits it to Rodriguez. Stepping on the bag. Okay, well, the damage was minimized. Only one run. We go to the bottom of the first. We'll take a look at our lineup. Batting leadoff in the left field is Jose Cruz. Batting second. At second base is Van Kelly. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting sixth at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting seventh in catching is Manny Seguin. Batting eighth at shortstop is Mark Belanger and Dave Boswell in the number nine spot. Okay, here's Jeffrey Volweiler. You may remember that he was the opening day starter for uh, Washington against us. Uh, he was considered their ace. He's dropped down to the second spot now with uh, Joe Coleman pitching so well. He's making his 22nd start, 5-8 and eight with a 3.61 ERA. Way more walks than strikeouts. In fact, in his career, what is that, 48 more walks than strikeouts? Opponents are betting 239 against him, five complete games, and a shutout. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour, ground ball percentage is 49.4%. His curveball is his best pitch, rated an 89, and his sinker rated an 81. Overall rated an 84, the 24-year-old ready is arbitration eligible at the end of the 1971 season. I want to look at his skills. Yeah, so coming into this last season, he was a 92 with like an 85 rating, 92 max, and he's dropped down to an 84 with an 86 max. So he's, for a nobody who had only been in, uh, in single A before he got called up as a rookie last year, 
Uh, he's already kind of stepping off the table there. Looking at his love. Well, there's that complete game in his last start versus Boston. In fact, his last two wins have been against Boston. He went nine innings, giving up two runs, one earned, only three hits, but he walked seven. That's what I fear in this game. I was walked ten twice, walked nine. I fear that we will only get walks and we won't be able to capitalize um, on hits, you know? That's the, uh, the disadvantage of playing against someone who's effectively wild, like Jeff Le Jeffrey Volweiler. Now, here's her defense. Um, right field is Bowens. Third base is here. Below league average. We know that Howard is terrible in left field, and we've been really able to take advantage of that in both games so far. Jim French behind the plate, in almost impossible to run on. Okay, Jose Cruz leading it off versus Jeffrey Volweiler. Cruz has had multiple hits in every other game that he started as he hits a ground ball to Brinkman who commits an error, a throwing error, allowing Cruz to go to second. That is the, sec uh, the third error by Brinkman in this series. The leadoff man is on. Oh, wow. <laughs> Van Kelly 0 for 12 against Jeffrey Volweiler. A couple of walks. Let's just see if he can pull it to the right side. Oh, base hit to center field. That's one better. Cruz scores, and the game is tied just like that. Of course, that's an unearned run. That does not affect Volweiler's ERA. That's what the game loves. Okay, Pepitone hitting and running. It's, he's an 82. It's hit and run. We can't steal. So we'll try to take advantage of anything that's in our favor. Pepitone taps it back to Volweiler, allowing Kelly to go to second. So Kelly's in scoring position for Darren Johnson. Johnson batting 299, 22 home runs, and he pops it up into foul territory on the first base side. Play made by Epstein. That'll leave it up to you, Tommy Ag. As I mentioned, seven for nine. He's got two runs scored, two RBI in the first two games of the series. Here he grounds out the second. So we just get the one unearned run. He didn't walk anybody that inning. Bullweiler. We go to the top of the second. Let's see if Boswell can straighten it out. He threw 26 pitches in the first. Allen leading it off with a line drive right into the glove of Darren Johnson. Good infield placement. One down. Brinkman looking to make up for that error. Hits a grounder to his shortstop counterpart, Belanger. Only has made two errors all season, and they were in the same game. So he has played very well at the shortstop position. And the pitcher gets a double, because that's all they are capable of doing in this game. So dumb. Wow, Volweiler's got 10 hits, and five of them are doubles. So stupid. I mean, what is the logic behind that? It's got to be just a glitch, right? I mean, in real life, it's not like pitchers only manage to get the bat on the ball and shoot it down the line because they're both, you know, they're late or they're ahead of the, the pitch. I, I don't I don't think that's the logic. Will he score here? That's the question. No. Harris strikes out and the double goes to waste. We go to the bottom of the second. Aurelio Rodriguez will lead it off. Rodriguez has seven home runs this year. I did not expect him to have that kind of power. Grounding out to Third, where are these walks that Volweiler dishes out? Manny Sanguian pulls it into left field for a base hit. Sanguian's on a little bit of a hot streak here as he singles to left. I mean, there's nothing to do 
Lunger. What is this hit and run rating? I forgot already. Where's he at on my list? 82. Uh, okay. No, because if, if it's a hit and run and he gets out, it's just the pitcher up, right? So let's see if Belanger can actually get a hit and get on base. No. Wow, Belanger. Absolutely sucking the pipe. Two down. And I guess we just let ba Boswell take a cut. A floater into left center field. And that's it. All right, maybe we didn't play that right. We go to the top of the third. And it's Unser, Howard, and Epstein. Pretty much the three best hitters in the lineup. There's the third walk for Boswell. One of those was intentional. It kind of feels like this is where it's going to get sideways. He's just got that walk strikeout combo working for him. Can't pitch around Epstein this time. Don't have a base open. 2-2 Two -two count. Oh, he gets him on that slow curve. That's six inches outside. We're going to guard the lines with Jim French up. Unser would score from first, I believe, if French could get it down the line. And another walk. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. 65 pitches here in the third. Sam Bowens, 217 hitter, 2-1 two count. And he pops it up. Rodriguez making the catch. So the uh, pitchers have at least kept both teams in the ball game. We go to the bottom of the third. Time for a little sip of my coffee. Okay. Uh, all right. Top of the lineup. Here's Jose Cruz leading off. And Cruz will walk. There's the first walk issued by Volweiler. Van Kelly, excellent hit and run guy. Rated an 88. I would love to have Cruz steal, but I think that would be wasting. Oh, no. Oh, he does anyway, because the pitch was so far outside. Cruz steals second base, his third stolen base, as a pilot. He's 7 for 7 on the year. Well, can Van Kelly hit, hit it to the right side again? He did single up the middle, not going to run. Crushes it this time. Cruz will tag and go to third easily. Now, Joe Pepitone, sack fly rating is an 87. So better than the league average. I think we just have him go on contact. And if it's a ground ball, Cruz will score with that speed. So that'll be the strategy here. First pitch swinging. And a ground ball up the middle. Cruz will score. And the Pilots take the lead. Strategies are working. I like it. And now the bases are empty with two down for Darren Johnson. And Johnson will take a walk, I believe, as we take a look here at Johnson. It's only his 32nd walk. Almost as many as last year. So he's got seven walks in his last... 20 games. Just seems like a lot for him. And three games in a row. Tommy Agee, 2-2. Two -two. That's the Tommy Agee. Okay, we take the lead on the RBI by Pepitone. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Boswell's at 69 pitches. That's disarming. Allen strikes out. Five Ks for Boswell. Brinkman full count. Ground ball to short. Senators are definitely working Dave Boswell over. Every at bat is going uh, to a full count. Another one, and Volweiler will strike out looking. That's exactly what we needed, though, from uh, Boswell. That'll at least allow him to get to the fifth inning. 
with the lead. See if he can add to it as Rodriguez will lead off with a ground ball. Only four total hits. Six walks between the two pitchers. Sangi in with a ground ball and automatic out, Belanger. Oh, an infield single will take it. I mean, it, all it does is bring the pitcher. We may as well try to get, well, no. I would say, if it was another, if it was an actual batter, uh, I would maybe consider letting Belanger attempt to steal. Well, we may as well just take the out and start with Cruz. Every time we have started with Cruz. Oh, that's so dumb. Boswell with a hit. I was going to say, every other inning, we started off with Cruz, and it's led to a run. So perhaps Cruz can contribute with runners on base. Nope. All right. Fifth inning. Oh, man. Okay. Well, Boswell's got to be able to get his five, right? It's going to be tough. Toby Harrell leading it off. Oh, ground ball to short. Belanger making the play. Del Unser, this has always been a tough out. A one, base hit the left. All right, this, I mean, can we get through the lineup three times without giving up a two-run home run? We have not been able to do that in the previous games, the series. Man, it's the smell of ine inevitability, right? There's a base at the right. Epstein's about to put one into the bleachers. You know what? Screw it. We're not going to do it. Boswell's coming out. We're going to bring in Ron Locke. He's a lefty. 305 ERA in his last 20 appearances. He does walk a lot now, which is alarming, but um, but he's typically good. He can give maybe get us a ground ball with a lefty on lefty. Howard doesn't have any speed. Full count. A tapper to lock. Yeah, double play to get out of it. Good call by the manager. It's unfortunate that um, Boswell cannot get his five innings with a lead, but you know what? We're playing to win. All right. Van Kelly. One for two today. Has an RBI. And he'll take a walk. Let's have those walks come into play now. Hit and run once again with Joey Pep. 2-1. Base hit to left field. Kelly will have to hold it third. Not sure how or why with a, pit, uh, a left fielder that defensively inept. Okay, well this feels like a double, a reverse double play here. Oh, Bach! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I... I hate this. Why is there a balk in every game? All right. What's a Johnson sack fly? I got it right here. 83. That's not good enough. Uh, we'll go on contact and see if uh, maybe Johnson can drive in a couple of runs. 3-1. <coughs> Excuse me. That'll get a run in. Okay. Pepitone going to third. And we know that AG is not capable of doing anything uh, skill-wise. He's not a hit runner, and he's not a sack flyer. He's not even really good at putting the ball in play. 0-1 oh, count. And a comebacker to Volweiler. Pepitone does score. So we are just playing small ball and counting on the box. We got two runs. And Rodriguez will ground out. Okay. Well, it's four to one. 
We got two lefties coming up. I do not like having a pitcher starting another inning. That usually backfires, and, and Locke has pitched almost 40 innings. But, oh yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn us right here. Lefty on lefty violence, Sam Bowens, 0-2. Ooh, a screwball. Bowens strikes out. Weekend at Bernie's. Ground ball to short. That's a guaranteed double play. Good job. And lock spot will come up, so we'll pinch it for him. This is working out in these three games against the uh, Senators. About as good as you can expect it to for a last place team. St. Green pops out. Mark Valandre did have that infield single. Still has not got the ball out of the infield. Okay. Locke will come out. We'll give uh, the Rimp a chance. Oh, well, no contact. And then a reliever. Bring in Bucky Brandon. He hasn't been bad exactly. Okay, uh, Brinkman. So it's eight, nine, and one, all right handed. I can't imagine Volweiler with that. He's going to bat. He threw 145 pitches in his last start, that complete game. Two quickies, and Toby Hare will pop it up. Great job by Bucky Brandon. Bottom of the seventh. Here come the lefties, Jose Cruz, 0 for 2. It's a stolen base. Lines it to left. Yeah, I mean, Cruz is every other ball game. This is his 0 for game. Great job, game. Van Kelly. Oh, man, he just missed that one. Here in 78 feet to center field. And Joe Pepitone finally has a chance to swing. And he rips it into right field. Held to a single by Bowens. Pepitone now two for four today. Oh, and Johnson swinging at nothing. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Lefties are coming up. Time to bring in Riddleberger. He's pitched 47 innings this year. That's tough. Dylan, sir. Like, the lefties on this team somehow magically hit lefties like it's nothing. Okay. Let's see what happens here with Epstein. Tied up with one swing. Can we get a double play? Howard running? Yes. That run means nothing. Let's go after French. Oh. Oops. Butt sucker. Well, now we, we have to bring in a righty. We cannot let Sam Bowens, with his 305 batting average, plant one in the bleachers. We're going to bring in Fred Gladding. God, that sounds like a horrible idea, doesn't it? Um, but those are his numbers, and that is not horrible. I guess we could have intentionally walked Boeings, Bowens to get to um, the left-handed bat of Allen. I don't think he would have hit a grand slam, but he might have did some damage. Here we go. Gladding, Bowens. First pitch swinging. Popping it up. Everything I'm doing is great. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Tommy Ag, 0 for 3 with an RBI today. Flying out the center. Here we go. Comebacker to Volweiler. 
and many sank in. Comes up, give Volweiler another complete game. Okay, we go to the ninth inning. We're going to leave Gliding in there to get the four out save. Allen doesn't really hit right as well. Line drive to center. Age, he's got to go back to get it. He does. Here's Eddie Brinkman 0 for 3. Ground ball to A-Rod. And a pitch hitter, it is Larry Bittner. He's a lefty. What is it? Damn it. Pinch hit, single for Bittner. This will be the last batter for Gladding. 2-1 count to Hera. And a line drive to Belanger. That's the ball game. The Pilots sweep the Senators at home. Winning today's ball game 4-1. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Everything I did was right the series and that first game of the White Sox. Okay, we have a day off, so we're going to advance one day. Maybe there's some trades. Simulating, oh, nothing of note. Okay, so we do uh, hop on the train. We're going to head to Kansas City. Uh, okay, we'll take a look at the standings. We've won four in a row. That is the best in the American League, tied with the Yankees. Five and five in our last ten. Did not hit a home run uh, today. We're going to face Kansas City who is in front of us, we could actually, with a little luck, jump past the Royals with cheese. We'll take a look at the National League. I mean, the Mets have won nine in a row. The Dodgers, five up on Houston. Headline news, Brainiac Baseball, did it Eight to nothing shut off for Downing. That's to go with his no-hitter that he threw earlier this year. That's all there is. Let's take a look at the transactions. Any trades? Uh, nope. The Coos for the uh, the Mets gets a contract extension. I got to go in and fix that. And I guess everything else was already there, right? Yeah, because we already talked about Minton. So the only thing that was new is the Coos contract, and I will go in and change that later. Okay, that'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Tell me what a good manager I am. I need a little pep talk. Make, make me feel good for once. Uh, the winner is Ron Locke. We had to yank Boswell. He didn't really pitch that badly. I just did not trust him in that situation. And you can see it worked out. Ron Locke gets his fourth win in relief. Fred Gladding gets his first save of the year. He actually led... The Astros in saves in 1970 with 30. I think maybe he led the all of the National League. So he's doing what he should be doing with a terribly low rating. Jeffrey Volweiler takes a loss. He's 5-9 and nine on the season, pitching another complete game. He had the only extra base hit between the two teams. That's dumb. Okay, let's... Uh, Wrap it up, and we will come back tomorrow and start a brand new series versus the Royals. Now, we will, we are really in need of uh, playing a doubleheader or two. So, uh, time permitting, I may actually try to do two ball games tomorrow. Okay, so until then, everyone, have a great day.